Hey guys, it's Holly and I'm super excited because I have a finished object for you guys. I am finally, <laughs> finally done with my flat iron shawl. And here, let me get it ready. Here it is. Look, 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 look. Oh, look at that color. And then look at that last color. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so, oh, let the camera adjust to get it got a little dark. So I'll insert a photo here. So it looks like kind of all stretched out. So pretty, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Okay, so first off, let's talk about yarn. This stunning yellow. <coughs> God bless you. My child sitting right there and he sneezed. <laughs> That's how the proper pineapples roll, y'all. Sneezing on camera. This beautiful yellow I started with is by Knit Crate. It was um, a color they had over the summer that I bought when it was on sale. It had cashmere in it. It's called Banana, but I will link Knit Crate's website if you want to go check it out. Sometimes they have really great yarn. So uh, this is a fingering weight shawl. I guess I should have said that. It's a fingering weight shawl. And it's so pretty. I love it. So, but I'm going to talk more about the pattern in a second. Let's talk about the yarns. So this yellow, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Like I said, it had uh, a little bit of cashmere in it. So it was just uh, heaven to work with. But I'm one of those people, I kind of need to be entertained. <laughs> so I got so far on this and then I was like, oh, y'all, I'm so done with yellow, right? Let me get the little ball here. So I actually have... <coughs> other ones coughing. The children are sick today, guys. Or, well, getting over being sick. But anyways, I have this much of the yellow left. Which is great, because they just go here into my minis. Boop, there you go. Into the minis. But anyways, so I kind of got a little tired, because it was just plain yellow. But it was beautiful. Then I started striping in this next color, which you guys made me so excited. Let me hold that up for you. Isn't that beautiful? <sighs> so I do have the label for this one. It is from Schweitzer's Fiber Mill. There is their website. I will put a link down below in the box to their thing. I found this. This was my unicorn skein from Rhinebeck 2018. I had walked into a Rhinebeck and it was the first booth I saw and the first skein of yarn I saw and I was like, <gasps> but no, I'm gonna walk around. So I walked around the whole thing and then I came back and they had two left and I bought one. And I loved it. And I was so, when I started striping this in here, guys, look at how pretty that looks. I fell in love. Absolutely loved it. This yarn was such a joy to work with. Let me see. It was 100% super wash merino. So it has no nylon, no nothing. And it is so soft and fluffy. I loved it so much. And the third color, bam. Look at that. Look at how it flashed or color pooled or whatever you want to call it oh my gosh I loved it it is by honeybee knits and it was a gift to me from a friend Jennifer in Ohio she sent it to me and when I got it I was like total my colors right oh it was wonderful to work with just beautiful to work with the colors are so vibrant and pretty that it just makes this shawl all just that much better and then the last one was actually left over from my Free Your Fade. It's this beautiful purple that I did the trim in, purpley pink. And it is called Carry Hope, and it is by Cat Sock Fibers. This color is like my life. I love this color. I would put it in everything if I had an opportunity. This color literally goes with almost everything in my yarn stash. It's ridiculous. But anywho, that will also be linked down below, as will Honey Bee. Um, I love it. So when I got these yarns and I laid them out into this trifecta of colors here in the little purple band, everybody thought I was crazy. They were like, that is not going to go in your face. Ha. No, I'm just kidding. Look at how cute this is. I absolutely adore this. I have gotten so many compliments. Yes, I have worn it out because I could not wait. It is stunning. It is huge to you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so big. You can see. But anyways absolutely love the yarn. The yarn was fabulous. Where did the hook go? Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. I probably edited that so you didn't even see all the like shaky camera and craziness, but I found my hook and all the noise is my son moving around sneezing and coughing again. <laughs> so it is my furls. It is one of their streamlined swirl hooks in the Andromeda colorway. It is a five millimeter. I loved this hook. 
you guys know I did a review on my furls hooks I absolutely love my furls hooks this was amazing to work with I love the way it fit my hand I thought it was gonna be too small because you guys know I have a lot of touche crochet and Nelson wood um, hooks and they're fatter and I really like those but this was not bad at all it fit perfect and it did a beautiful job on look at how pretty it is beautiful job I'm sorry there's a puppy outside my window <laughs> okay so let's talk for two seconds about the actual pattern because I do these videos so that you guys out there who are looking at a pattern and you're just wondering is it for me is it not let's talk about that so here is the picture of the flat iron shop really really pretty and you know what the pattern let me just say is super easy totally ready and available for beginners it is a two row repeat it is a bide pattern so i'm not going to give you too much information about the actual like workings of it but it's basically a two row repeat and it's super super simple and the striping the yarn in is super simple i just carried the yarn up um i don't know if you're gonna be able to see might I put it up and cover it kind of you just carry your yarn up with you so like you finish your rolls, stop pick up the other yarn go come back stop and then just carry it up it's single crochet so that it doesn't carry very far it's very not noticeable it's stunning so you guys know I made the um, free your fade by Andrea Mowry it's the knit kind of version of this shawl so I made this one I cast this on on Christmas Day of 2018 and it's taken me forever to finish it, but I finally got to finish. The pattern, like I said, super easy. It's not very difficult at all. Not at all. It's super, like I said, I can't say super easy enough. And you will get just a stunning shawl. Everybody will love this. You cannot believe how easy this shawl is to make. Um, it is by Tony of TL Yarn Crafts. I will link her down below. Um, her YouTube channel, she has a YouTube channel. And it was just, easy I'm just trying to make sure I don't have anything nope I don't have anything else about it I mean it's just simple you guys will love it um, it is fingering weight which I do know like uh, Car is it Karen Karen has a new cake out that's fingering weight so if you didn't want to stripe um, three colors you could just make this whole shawl in one color and it would still be absolutely stunning it is huge and so comfy to wear. I will say one thing about the shawl that I'm not a huge fan of. One teeny little thing. And it's probably my fault, not the pattern's fault. Either my gauge was too tight or I didn't block it aggressively enough. But the what they call the straight edge as you're crocheting curls under. And I blocked this, but I just can't get the curl out of it. Just can't do it. But that's okay. It's not that bad. When you wear it. I'm going to put it on right now. So big, you guys. So I usually just center it. Boop, throw it around the back here. My hair out. And there you go. You know, tighten it a little. Oh, so easy to wear. I love my long tails, but if you don't, you could tie them up under it and hide it. Let's see if I can put this down just a little. Yeah, see, look at how pretty this is. I like my long tails, so I leave them out, but some people hide them. It's so pretty, you guys. And you don't even notice, like I said, that slight curl at the edge at all. The pattern's great. I cannot recommend it enough, especially for us crocheters who really want all those adorable, like, faded patterns that they have in knitting. This is a great option. It's so great. And Tony is such a sweetheart. I'm always happy to support people like that. So I totally recommend this pattern. It will be linked down below, um, as will all of the places I purchased my yarn. And if I have the names of them, I will put them there too. You guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like my shawl. It's so, so pretty. And I will definitely be wearing this. You will probably see me at some fiber festivals out wearing this one because this is my life right now. I love this guy. It's totally my colors. Oh, so pretty. Well, I'm gonna get out of here and go deal with my children who I told you aren't feeling all that great. And my dog who wants to go outside and play with the little puppy that just showed up at our door. So I'm gonna get out of here guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you've made the flat iron shawl by Tony from TL Crafts, TL Yarn Crafts, let me know down below. Tell me what you thought of it. I absolutely love it. I might in the future make another one. I might totally make another one. Maybe, probably. <laughs> okay, I gotta go guys. Bye.